Google purchased something called a quantum computer in 2013. Two years later, after extensive testing here at the end of 2015, they are claiming that it works and is capable of using quantum physics to solve math much faster than a regular computer. In fact, 100 million times faster. And if everything they're representing is true, that's great. But it's truly very hard to say, as a legitimate understanding of quantum computing is not mainstream at this point. And I don't know about you, but when I hear a computer that's 100 million times faster than current current computers, I think, what can it do for gaming? And today, GameRanks wants to explore what may be possible for gamers thanks to quantum computing. So to start, computers today, mainstream, personal computers, supercomputers, and really any kind of computer that you use today, from the most powerful research-based laboratory computer down to that calculator you use, all work in binary. That is ones and zeros, on and off, true and false, yes and no. And that's it. Every complex operation runs off a very long series of yes or no questions. That means everything from the simplest calculator program to the smoothest, most optimized, graphic-intense, AAA gaming experiences. And yes, when you send instructions to the GPU, the graphical processing unit, it handles everything that exact same way. And quantum computing doesn't. Quantum computing uses tiny bits of information called qubits, which is essentially a two-state quantum mechanical system that can be hard to even comprehend. It's on such a tiny scale that the human mind can't really grasp it from a physical standpoint. Our understanding of it is basically limited to the abstract. For instance, it can mean the polarization of a single photon and a photon is smaller than an atom, and an atom is something that you will never see even in a microscope because it's tiny. As I said, our understanding of this has to basically be abstract. Anyway, qubits can be both one and zero, true and false, at the same time. In order to get information out of a qubit-based system, qubits have to be manipulated in a certain sequence, but generally give much faster and more accurate results. For instance, if you're using a traditional computer and therefore ones and zeros, true and false, the computer would ask itself if the answer to something, say, if 10 was divisible by 5, by asking which numbers are divisible, returning a true or false answer, 1 or 0. Quantum computing doesn't have to check these things. It doesn't work by process of elimination, finding out what things you can get a yes answer to. Quantum computing is much more non-linear, and because of that, it can arrive at a conclusion much faster because it bypasses a lot of the work. But at the same time, a bit is very predictable. Having on or off 1 or 0 is is essentially saying it's going to be one of these two things and nothing else. A qubit arrives at the conclusion of yes or no, if you finesse it a certain way, but it does not behave that way. A qubit can kind of be unpredictable and chaotic, and to apply quantum computing to video games, programming would have to work on a fundamentally different unit, because at the very base of modern computing is the bit, and at the very base of quantum computing is the qubit. To compound that, it's very good at solving certain kinds of problems, not not all problems. Probably the most applicable to gaming is artificial intelligence. 50 years from now, quantum computing could give us artificial intelligence that is marginally better than it is today. But is quantum computing going to be able to be used to make the graphics to games better, or make games faster, bring down load times, get rid of the uncanny valley? Really all of those things probably are not possible thanks to quantum computing, and will continue to develop over time on their own, but likely staying with within the realm of traditional computing. Quantum computing is going to enhance the logic of games. As I said, that could mean much better artificial intelligence, but it could also mean much better physics. Physics could end up being significantly more complex and lifelike as the rigid nature of switches is removed in quantum computing. But it's not limited to physics and artificial intelligence. Admittedly, I am not a scientist and I do not know everything about this subject. People who do are generally saying that we'll probably never actually see a quantum computer per se, but rather chips that contain components for quantum computing. These chips will handle all of the operations that quantum computing can handle much better, while everything that traditional computing handles better will be handled traditionally. I know, obvious statement of the year is obvious. I wouldn't be shocked if graphics cards, for instance, contained a quantum chip that offloaded a lot of the AI or perhaps physics work to the quantum computing chip and then 
left more visually oriented things like shaders to the traditional computing of the GPU. Now, if this is indeed the scenario, this would in fact enhance the graphical performance of games, not necessarily because it builds upon the graphical capabilities of a computer, but instead diverts more non-graphical work onto a specialized chip designed specifically for that, leaving the CPU and the GPU with more resources to do the typical magic that they do. So bottom line, what can quantum computing do for gamers? Short answer, nothing glamorous, but lots of good things. Anything that makes it easier for the computer to do more work faster is obviously a big thing. And the more things that they can figure out to offload to a quantum computing chip, the more resources you have to work with on your main, much more visible processes, specifically talking about the graphics. Indirectly, quantum computing could be the thing that makes it possible to finally get over the damn uncanny valley by ensuring as many systems as possible that aren't 100% graphically related are not being handled by any process or hardware that has to do with graphics. And while that may not be an explosion, sometimes the most important stuff isn't the flashiest. And I think when developers and hardware makers finally figure this out, we are going to be shocked with the results. Are you excited for the possibilities of what quantum computing could bring gaming? Did this help you understand it at all better? To be entirely truthful, this isn't meant as a deep exploration of it, but as a basic primer. And if you got that out of it, please do us a big favor and leave a comment and click the like button. Also, if you're not subscribed to Game Ranks now is a perfect time to do so. We upload brand new videos to this channel every single day of the week, and the best way to see them first is a subscription. As always, we thank you very much for watching this video, and we will see you next time right here on Game Ranks.